The Weinberg Report is a turning point in the criminal justice system in this state. It is something that has been picked up and developed by judges together with support from government and the Judicial College. It is an extraordinary opportunity for us to achieve change. It is something that I am thrilled to see happen. The drive, the dynamism and the energy that Justice Weinberg and the others have devoted to this project has truly been extraordinary. It will change the justice system as we know it. It will ensure that justice is done. Every time a conviction is overturned, that is a loss, a loss to the community. This is a chance to try to minimise that loss and to change things for the better. The current system requires the judge not to, in fact, communicate with the jury, but to communicate with the Court of Appeal. Uh, it means that uh, instead of doing what the judge is supposed to do at the end of the trial, namely sum up the issues in the case and give the jury instructions as to how they go about deciding the case, because of the complexity of the law, judges tend to be more worried now about giving what amounts to a lecture on the law to the poor jurors. We have uh, now a number of retrials that occur. A percentage of those retrials occur because of the complications that are necessary and what the judge must tell the jury. But the complexity of the language that we're required to use, the amount of detail we're required to give to juries in charging them, means that um, there's a much greater capacity to comb over the words and look for meanings that may not be apparent to someone who's just sitting there taking in an oral series of directions. And so there's been a disconnect really between what the research shows us jurors can absorb and take in and what an appellate court thinks might have deprived an accused of a fair trial. The trial judge's complaint was that they're the ones who have to sit in, watch witnesses go through the harrowing experience of giving evidence, see accused people and their families go through the agony of a trial. You don't want to cause that to occur all over again simply because an appeal court says your instructions uh, used one not too many or used one expression which was infelicitous, as a result of which all of those people will have to go through the exercise all over again. The cost in terms of money and time is horrendous, but the emotional cost is absolutely appalling. We've produced a report that uh, we hope uh, will be adopted in substance, and if so, we think that it will uh, reduce the number of appeals that uh, succeed, uh, will shorten trials considerably, uh, because a lot of the legal issues that take up a lot of time uh, and uh, also the complex directions that have to be given uh, will be uh, significantly reduced in, in complexity. I think the key reform is the change to um, the way we tell jurors what things they have to be satisfied of beyond reasonable doubt. First of all, the reforms suggest much simpler language. And second, they bring them back to the classical notion of what a prosecution has to prove beyond reasonable doubt in a criminal trial, which is simply the elements or the essential ingredients of the offences. Because the law is so complicated at the moment, there can be no improvement in communicating with the jury unless you simply get rid of that complexity. And the great thing about the uh, proposed uh, changes he, uh, here are to do away with all of the common law, start again and provide a very simplified statement of what the law shall be from now on. And that's all you have to worry about communicating. It should shorten jury charges considerably. It should make the language we use much simpler and it should stop judges having to over explain everything and allow juries to go back to their traditional domain of making a decision about the facts, having been told in very broad and clear terms what the legal framework that, that they must operate in is. Longer trials, uh, we'll have more appeals succeeding <coughs> on the basis that uh, judges have misdirected the jury or failed to direct the jury as to some point that is regarded as pivotal uh, and uh, the community will not be well served. 
uh, if trials have to be done a second time, obviously, uh, victims have to go through the process of giving evidence a second time. Uh, it's oppressive so far as the accused is concerned. Uh, it's just in nobody's interest that trials continue to blow out as they have been for a number of years now in the state. If no change is made to this, well, that body of law will just increase day by day, year by year, until you get to the proposition where you're giving juries instructions that are even longer than they are today and even less comprehensible. It's possible that challenges will be made to the whole right of jury trial if some want to argue that it's all too complex for juries to understand. Well, the answer to that is not to have juries. Now, most people who have had any real connection with the criminal justice process regard trial by jury as being one of our great constitutional guarantees. Um, anything that undermines both the way that process operates or ultimately challenges the existence of it uh, is very undesirable.